Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. In this series of videos, a case with one teaching point is presented. This is the 13th video in this video series about an entity mimics renal cell. A 59-year-old man referred for renal ultrasound to evaluate renal stem. As you can see in this clip, we found a linear calcification with clean posterior shadowing highly resemble a renal stone. But if you pay attention to the clip again, it's not in a calicial system and shows a peripheral intraparenchymal location with extension to prenephric space. So it's not a renal stone and it's an entity that mimics their renal stem. The differential diagnosis for entities that mimic renal calculi include intra-renal gas, renal artery calcification, calcified sloughed papilla, calcified transitional cell tumor, alkaline encrusted pielitis, encrusted calcification of uretric stent. The first one is intrarenal gas. This sonogram is an example of emphysematous pielitis. This transverse sonogram of left kidney shows clean posterior shadowing to renal calculus and dirty shadowing posterior to non-dependent collecting system gas. And a confirmatory CT scan shows both a calculus and gas within the left collecting system. Our patient, of course, not compatible with this entity. Another differential diagnosis is renal artery calcification. As you can see in this sonogram, here is kidney, and we can see parallel lineal calcification related to a linear distal renal artery. Renal artery calcifications usually located in renal hilum, not in the periphery. So our patient, of course, not compatible with this entity also. Another differential diagnosis is calcified sloughed papilla. One of the clinical manifestations of renal papillary necrosis is ureteric colic due to obstruction of the ureter by sloughed off papilla. When the necrosed papilla is sloughed off, a cavity communicating with the collecting system is shown sonographically. As we can see in this transverse sonogram of kidney showing irregular and empty medullary cavities remaining after a passing of a sloughed off necrosed papilla. Alternatively, the nerecrous papilla can remain in situ and become calcified, which is shown sonographically as the classic ring or garland-like calcification of the medulla. This transfer sonogram of right upper pole demonstrate an elliptical cushionic focus with irregular shadowing in a medullary pyramid. The center of the focus is less echogenic and is surrounded by an echolucent space. These findings represent papillary necrosis. And this sagittal image showing echogenic foci in several medullary pyramids, which is similar to a garland-like calcification. Of course, our patient is not compatible with this entity. Another entity is calcified transitional cell tumor. This is a 60-year-old woman with left upper quadrant pain, and this image from excretory urography shows a chronically obstructed left kidney due to UPG obstruction. Longitudinal sonogram shows an incidentally detected calcified small soft tissue mass that project into the dilated renal pelvis, and pathology confirmed that this is a small TCC. Another one, our patient is not compatible with this entity. Another entity is alkaline encrusted pielitis. This transverse sonogram of right kidney shows hyperechoic foci in calyces and pelvis with acoustic shadowing not mobile in prone position that correspond to encrustation. Alkaline encrusted pielitis is a rare chronic infectious and inflammatory condition of the renal pelvis characterized by calcified deposit 
on the Eurotelium. And all patient, of course, not compatible with this entity. And the last entity is encrusted calcification of uretric stent. In this transfer sonogram, here we can see the kidney with hydronephrosis and JJ catheter in the renal pelvis, which is calcified. Of course, our patient not compatible with this entity. Now, our patient is not compatible with all of these differential diagnoses of entities that mimic renal calculi. I asked the patient, did you have a major trauma? And he told, yes, I had a car accident and I was in a coma for a few days. So, after major trauma, intraprenchymal hemorrhage with extension to perinephric space occurred and this is an old calcified renal parenchymal hematoma. And finally, please pay attention to this teaching point. We must keep in mind that another differential diagnosis should be considered in the entities that mimic renal calculi and its old calcified renal parenchymal hematoma. Now I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. Thank you for your attention.